All right, you guys, super easy dinner tonight. I just made some sloppy joes and we had some grapes that I put on the side and then I found a bag of the sour cream and onion chips in the pantry. So I decided to bust those open and have those as a side. And last night we had Mississippi roast. I didn't film it, it just didn't happen, but it was very tasty. I used some freezer mashed potatoes to uh, put on the, the roast on top of and then I made some green beans and it was pretty quick and easy and yummy. All right, so tonight it was supposed to be spaghetti, but I think everyone's pretty burnt out on spaghetti because no one like really seemed to want to eat that. So uh, instead I did have some stuff in the uh, refrigerator that I need to use up. So I made some chicken tetrazzini maybe a week and a half or two weeks ago and I made a whole bunch. So I had some in the freezer that I had taken out a few days ago. So I'd been sitting in the freezer. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make like a lunch out of it. Um, but as you can see, there's plenty left. So I just popped that in the microwave and heated that up. And then I made a side salad, just a Caesar salad. And then um, we have some Mississippi roast that I made the other night that we need to eat up. And I also made some crescent rolls and we're just gonna uh, basically just eat up all these leftovers. All right, you guys, tonight I made some tosada, so it's pretty simple. It's just a shell right there with some refried beans, as you can see right there, and some ground beef with some cheese and some lettuce and sour cream. And um, I do have a tomato I'm gonna chop up for everyone else. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but those are the toppings, and that's what we're having tonight. All right, so tonight I made chicken burgers, so super simple. I just cooked the patty in the oven, and then I put it on a bun with some pickles and lettuce and mayo with some french fries and some grapes. He sounds happy. Yeah, he's excited to have wings. <laughs> wings tonight, y'all, with some tater tots. So it's Sunday night dessert, so tonight I am making some cookies, homemade cookies. I made these myself. Obviously, I got this from Costco. So I'm just trying to trying to use up the rest of it. So I was we were gonna make chocolate cake, but instead I'm making this so I can use that up. All right, so tonight I made a chicken in the crock pot per uh, Kick and Mom's new cookbook. So I'll link that down below if you, in case you guys want to try it out. I've really been enjoying it so far. So there's the chicken right there, and then some green beans. I get those at Costco, and then some mac and cheese. I got those at Costco as well. All right, so we have a lot going on here. So I made tosadas tonight. I had some shells left over from last week, so I'm using those up tonight. So just down there at the bottom, again, there's the shell, and then there are some refried beans right there, and then I have a little bit of queso right there on top of the beans and the, the meat mixture, and then I added some lettuce on top of that with some pico de gallo, and some sour cream. So pretty messy, but these are really, really good. We've kind of replaced our taco night lately, so we've really been enjoying these. All right, so tonight I made fancy mac and cheese, and I just realized, I told you guys I would do a video on this. I didn't even remember until just now. I just <laughs> kind of threw this together, but um, made fancy mac and cheese. I do have an older video. I've said this a million times. It gives you kind of the idea of how to make it. It's just basically a white cheddar cheese sauce with some spinach, and some diced ham. Uh, you make a roux first, and then you make the you add the cheese to it, and then make a cheese sauce, and add it to any kind of noodles that you like. And then I do a topping that is panko breadcrumbs with some butter and some Parmesan cheese. So pretty simple. And then over here on the side, I made a Caesar salad. So that's what we're eating tonight. All right, so tonight I made some chicken burgers and then some chicken fried steak burgers. I had some in the freezer that I wanted to use up. So this is a chicken fried steak patty on a hamburger bun with some mayo and lettuce. And I normally put pickles on it, but the babies ate all the pickles. They're big pickle fans lately, so I just have one on the side, and uh, some tater tots and some grapes. Sunday dessert came a few days early this week because we all had to go get flu shots earlier, and I told Connor in exchange for a flu shot, uh, I'd make some Halloween cupcakes. So, just decorated them with some of these fun, spooky sprinkles. Oh man, okay, they want their cupcakes. Here you go, bud. Come on. You want this one? How about that one? Nice. Is it good? <laughs> nice. So tonight I made the copycat version of uh, Chili's chicken enchilada soup and it is really good. We've had it before and uh, we got a cold front that came in last night so it's just perfect weather for it. So I have our bowls here and since Jackson and Deacon won't eat the soup because they're still a little too little, I just put some of the rotisserie chicken over here on the side. I made this a few days ago in the crock pot and so it's the same chicken that I used in the soup. So I just warmed up some of the chicken for them and then I gave them some uh, cucumbers and some um, uh, baby carrots. Okay. Mm, it's so good. 
Yum, yum, yum. Bush. <laughs> you excited for dinner, bed? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for dinner tonight, I made stuffed shells and a side salad over here, as you can see there. So, cheese. Oh my gosh. So basically, it's just some ricotta cheese with some Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and some marinara sauce. <laughs> and then the side salad is just some romaine lettuce with some spinach and cucumber and carrots.